Hello friends, how's it going? It's your friend Jeff playing Ultimate Admiral Age of Sail the British campaign on normal with a with a adaptation. Okay, so we've got intelligence, forty five thousand, but if we go I'm a legend we get an extra nine thousand and two rep. Only gives one career point. And we're doing both land and sea portions of this battle, not just the sea, which we could have if you only wanted to do sea battles, you could choose that. But, you know, I kind of, I kind of like, I want to fight the land battle and I just want to wipe them out. So, um, as you can see, here we are. There's three allies right here. There's the, I think it's the black pool right over here. Um, they're going to have four enemy uh, come here after us later in the second phase. Um, so uh, we're going to go ahead and put the, the two ships, the two transports first. And then one, two, three, four. We've got 3,000, so... And these guys are just sitting in the, you know, just going to hang out in the harbor. All right, let's do it. This one's called Intelligence. All right, we're going to go ahead and skip. We know that uh, those allies are doing it. So we're going to pause for just a moment. We're going to go like this. And if you look over here, you can see that you got to save the black pool. So the nice thing about it is you can grab her, you can tell her to go full sail, and you can head on over to here. And I don't usually punch her through there, I, I just get her to here. And that way, that way uh, she's on her way, so we don't have to worry about it. And so right now I want... Um, this ship to get here, we're going to have to put this up. Okay, so it can't go there. It's going to... I'm going to put this ship right over here. That ship there. That ship there, and this ship, right, if I can get it right, let me see, right about, right about there. See, I, I hate, you know, I hate the fact that the ship says it's waiting because of the lines. So that's why you want to try to break them off, but it's so annoying that this ship is yeah it says waiting for the group no there is no group okay look uh, i'm gonna tell these guys to go on their own way okay there is no group okay there is no group no group everybody is on their own so get to where i want you to go i'm sorry to be sounding like i'm complaining but i hate it that the first ship always stops in a chain of ships, you know what I mean? It's so annoying. Okay, so while these guys are hopefully getting to where they're supposed to be getting without conflict with each other. We can go over here and see how the progress is going on. Um, so we got 169. And you and you got to try to micromanage these guys to shoot the scrimmager there, otherwise the scrimmager takes free shots on us. 
and then they got a big one coming there so they'll ov they'll overtake them anyway and unfortunately okay so if my marines are here on Ann let's go ahead and get the get them out And the Whitby. All right, now, fair lady. I'm going to drop out the units that are big. So that's two units. I don't know why Liverpool's having a hard time getting over there. And Martha should be able to drop out two big units. And Diana should be able to do the same. And the Liverpool. All right, so I know this might be boring if if somebody's watching the setup, but you know it's 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 loads of fun though to do it to do this. All right, so I think I got the biggest units off these. Each ship contributes to two units other than the transports. All right, now, we see that, that artillery right there. Go up the hill, please. Oh, look at this, Well, we need more units to help out. And I'll tell you what, by them attacking me, the this fort is holding for, for a little while. So that's kind of good.
Yeah, we want to get this artillery right here. Alright, so we knocked out the artillery, so that is really big. Wow, look at it. They got quite a bit, actually. Woo! Alright, the battle is heating up. Yeah, now we're using their artillery against them. Alright, so now what we're trying to do here, these, these guys have got to convince this unit to stay away. Okay, we seem to be uh, corralling them all. Now we we might we might we might lose the allies, but because the enemy's retreating towards them. Okay, so Captain, you managed to break through the siege, but more rebels are on the way. Now, what we got to make sure of is that we pa we 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 got to pause for a minute because I think because I got their artillery, but they're going to come with some more artillery. But I think uh, I'm going to go ahead and call this one 15. And what I got here, I got to make sure that they're not making any of my units run away or something. Because my plan is to, is to basically make a line.
And if I can get my mortar, my mortar has to get over here. Supply can get over here too. I think this is what I want to do. Now that my mortar is here, Well, we actually got a prisoner. All right, this is Let's see how we're doing.
Alright, kill the skirmisher. Okay, it does say we can finish, but... finally killed the artillery because he was taking toll he w that that art that artillery was taking a toll on us come on get over here We took we took quite a few losses over here because we didn't have artillery support. But now that I got the mortar a little bit closer, we can now. That should change that part of the battle. Now this part of the battle. Like I'm not sure if one got past me. So I don't think so. So we're gonna move this one over there. So we got we got their two artillery. I'm gonna set that prisoner way down there. Alright, so the battle looks like it's doing pretty good. We have one ally that survived so far.
All right, we'll have to see what 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 the uh, t artillery has done. Now this one only got eight kills. This one's got eighty-eight kills. Okay, so let's see if we can wear down this unit right here. Okay, I think what we're going to do is get the supply wagon over there to give these guys some ammo. They're, they've been out of ammo for quite a bit. Ready. And this is an ally that survived the battle. Oh, too bad. Too bad Martha couldn't hit that unit. <laughs> it's too bad. Oh, well. Alright, we're going to see if these artillery now can get some better shots at these guys. Well, like I said, I, I'm going. I'm going for a complete wipe.
All right, well, let's see. We got them in the corner right here. Yeah, probably going to use all 5,000 of my funds for my supply wagon, but... We got another prisoner, so that's all good. I'm just going to get everybody over here so they can get the rest of the ammo. Like I said, uh, this is kind of fun. Alright, we're, we're slowly, we are slowly rounding them up. Alright, well, folks, you're going to have to tell me what you think of this if you are watching this. I mean, they, they still got two, they still got about five or six units, it looks like. And I got their two guns. And my mortar, but I think, okay, amp, okay, so my supply wagon is empty. Oh, well. All right, so we see one unit here, so I think these two should be able to come down here and take this unit out. Now, as far as these prisoners go... I think I can grab one, two, three of them I think I can tell them to come way over here
So that will be four prisoners. Hopefully the enemy won't find them. All right, we're gonna stop moving the units to sh to the ship, but we gotta we gotta round these guys up. Okay, so we're going to send some of these back to the ships and we're going to have to finish these guys off. All right, well, um, let's see how, I don't know how much longer this can go on from these guys retreating. Okay, I don't know what to say about this. Like they, they keep re getting. I'm gonna. I think I'm just gonna make a line right here. And so when they approach us, the guns can shoot at them. I guess is the, the way to do it. Because I imagine once the, these guns start shooting, we can knock these guys out. So while that is going to happen...
So I might as well get uh, Brooks on the ship that they're supposed to be on. So that's Diana. I was on the Liverpool. So where is the uh, Liverpool? I mean, they're they're, they're going to be all at, so uh, they're all going to be out of ammo at some point. But you know, they can still shoot one third of the speed, I guess. So it's okay. Um, I use five thousand. Okay, so now this one was from Whitby. So let's let's get him on to Whitby. Now these allies here is the only unit that's that survived this. Now this one, the supply wagon, was on the Whitby, so we'll have him go to the Whitby. And like I said, I wanted to get a wipe of the infantry, you know, like of the land units. So that's why we're just kind of messing around a little bit. Uh, this guy, this guy was killed in action, darn it. So we lost an officer. Okay, it looks like they got two left that I know of. Um, like I said, I think it's it's good to just let the mortar or whatever hit them. I can start working on these ship, like get these guys back to their ships. He, he's out of pretty much out of ammo. Yeah, I guess I could go a little faster, maybe. All right. So these marines were on Ann, so we'll we'll get these marines on Ann. Now, uh, this guy was killed in action, but we'll get him on to Diana. So where's Diana? Over here.
All right, we're just going to let them do what they're going to do. So we got Whitby, so let's let's get these marines on Whitby and we'll see how this goes cuz what I'm going to I'm thinking of is once I fill the ships up I'll have to see what ships are um Because I, I think what we'll do is we'll take guys off of the Whitby and put them on the other ships to get them up. Because we, we're going to need these four warships to take out the four ships that are going to be attacking us. And like I said, I'm just going to let these guys kill these guys off. Now this one was for the Fair Lady. There she is, a fair lady. So we have a we left the units on the two smaller units or whatever, and you can see that um, these were like a hundred and something. So it's not bad that I'm getting a hundred to go back onto this ship. Like we took two hundred and probably eighty off here, but so that's not bad. And now here is another one for Anne. Okay, so this might be the last unit, and he just shouted, so that might be it. That might be it. Yeah, I think that might be it, folks. So um, we got to now be ready. So let's go ahead and get Ann. these guys on Anne. Where is Anne? All right, now these guys were on the Liverpool. Alright, so Liverpool. Oh, you gotta get on first, okay. Now to the Liverpool, please. Alright, and this one was from Martha. And I guess by not um, using the ships to fire over here, the lifeboats survive. A lot of a lot of the lifeboats survive. You can go to Martha. All right. So it looks like this is the first unit going back to Martha.
All right, so if this ends Marines... Yeah, I can't. Oh, well. All right, so Whitby. All right, I don't think there's any more units, so we're going to have these guys come over here, I guess. We can go uh, fast, I guess. And I got to get my mortar onto my ship, so that, that one was on N. So let's get the mortar. I might as well leave the guns here because uh, the enemy, even if they survived, they wouldn't get on it and we already claimed it. So that would be okay. So we got to get this one on Anne. So you get over here to get on Anne. Maybe I already put the marine unit that this one came off of onto the ship. So I wonder if I could pull a unit off to get the skirmisher back into it. But anyways, I think I'll have enough boats. Okay, so this one was on Martha. This one was on Anne. This one was on Fair Lady. All right, so Martha. All right, fair lady. Let's see where fair lady is. She's over here. Now the skirmishers for and and other than the prisoners, uh I don't think there's any other units anywhere, so we got the, uh, this is the only unit, this is the only unit that survived the th of the three ally units. So it looks like we still had a few boats, because they had six here before we showed up, and so we we definitely had enough. So why don't I put them on uh, the Fair Lady, I guess, or Diana. Okay, so now I can look at um, the Whitby, for example. And I can see that we have... We did pretty good. Look, I mean... Here's the lowest unit right here, 131. Yeah, see, I cannot, I can't get them on. All right, we can't get them on. So then what about Anne? Well, we have, we have 50. All right, we can get them on this ship. 
Okay, so while this is going on right there, I think it'd be prudent to save. So I'm just going to save over this. Because we successfully completed the land battle. And we can finish at any time. But I think what I want to do is I want to get the Liverpool right there. Fair Lady right there. Diana right there. Martha. The Whitby. And Anne. And I, and I think uh, we should be pretty ready to fight them. So let's go back to normal speed. And we got the prisoners right here. All right, I think we're going to see now, uh, for scaling purposes, what are those ships we're going to end up fighting. So let's go ahead and finish. Oh boy, it looks like some big ones. And the Blackpool. All right, let's pause. Oh, and the wind changed. Okay, so... Now, here's what you do here. You just got to put, you just got to tell the Blackpool to get out of the battle and you're all set there with that particular part of it. And now, what we want to do is we want to head that way after those ships. All right, let's go. Yeah, we got the win, so we might as well go with it, right? Let's go for the attack. And if I lose like 160 off a ship, I can drop these Marines out to get on here. So now we wiped out the uh, infantry, so now it's the time to go and take out the ships. And I think with each of these ships, I think I at least have a repair kit on. Seeing we got the wind, I'm going to lower the sails on the warships so these guys can catch up. Okay, so the black pool, as you can see, retreated. So we don't have to worry about the enemy knocking it out. So what are these guys? Alright, so they have two small ships and two big ships. Ooh, I wonder what these are. Wow. Let's target one. Oh, these are fourth rate Razi class frigates. Forty eight guns. Wow. Yeah, I think we're going to we're going to stage up here and let them come at us maybe or I just want these ships to catch up.
All right, we're gonna get going. All right, it's getting close. All right, I think it might be better if two of these tag team each one of those big ships and just bypass these little ones. This is going to get dicey. I mean, once our guys go by this little one, we'll blast it the heck out of the kingdom come, I guess. All right, let's pause. All right. This is going to get really tight real quick. Okay, so could Martha go there and could Diana... Wait, Martha and Diana. Fair Lady right there. And this one right there. So we want to shoot that ship. We want to capture it. We want to shoot that ship. We want to capture it. We want to use canister. Canister. All right, let's pause for a minute. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. See what happens. Oh no, we lost our bow sprite. Darn it. Hey, this went down really good. Look. They both hit at the same time. Oh, heck. I... Oh, I... 
Come on. Okay, well, we got one Razzie. Yep, okay. All right, we got that one now. Okay, so we got, uh, looks like two ships left. Oh no, Fair Lady went into the Ann. Oh, come on, Fair Lady, jeez. Fair Lady, Anchor, man. Okay, so for the ships that I could repair, I ought to try to repair them. Yeah, we even lost some mass. Darn. See, just like the AI always going to kind of like against the wind. Yep, it's gonna gonna have to have some real repairs when I get to the harbor, unfortunately. Did the other ship surrender? No.
Okay, let's see if we can get this ship. I mean, if it if, if it thinks it can take any of these, they're all going out. So I mean. Well, I'm repairing the ships that I can repair, but you can see that, you know, we, we lost one mass, we lost we lost the bow sprites. I mean this ship is Liverpool's the only one that's in good condition. And I just can't believe I had this ship collide with this one. Oy. Alright, well, I'm going to see if I can get the Whitby to take this ship out. All right, well, I think it's going to end because this unit's going to get on him. Well, like I said, this was, you know, whatever. I try to do the best out of it, but I'll tell you what. Going to have to pay some real repairs in the, sh in the harbor. So, yeah, we got it. Should It should end, right? Is there any... Is there any enemy? Okay, so look at the battle. The battle didn't end. So that must mean that there's at least one infantry unit over here somewhere, right? There's got to be one hiding somewhere. But I'm not going to take any time to look at it because I don't want them to come over here and get these prisoners here. So I'm going to just go ahead and finish it because we got all four ships, right? I mean, I don't, do you see, I don't see any enemy ships anywhere, right? So it looks like I got them all. I'm going to go ahead and finish. Yeah, right here, four captured. So yeah, there must have been there must have been an infantry unit. That just goes to show you that unless I would have searched the whole forest, I would not have found them. So cuz cuz I I'll tell you once the last thing enemy is taken, this game ends. So, you know what I mean? So anyways, it looks like they had a thousand for the crew. 
And they had 2600 for the infantry and six guns. The goals. The units. And a deceased officer. Okay. And we have... We captured their, their guns. Ah, we didn't get we didn't get much in you know f for for wiping out the enemy we didn't really get much for doing it, you know what I mean? But we got the 248 gun ships. That's a biggie, but I won't have enough rep to get either of them. So unfortunately, I'll have to eat the cost of them just sitting in my cuz I'm going to want to add those to my fleet. Yeah, look at this. 64, 288, 1400. Yeah, because we lost a mass. 1400. And a bow sprite costs us 400. Okay, so I guess uh, let's take a look at the Liverpool and we still got 233 so that's not bad. 279, 227, but we lost an officer here. And we got a perk right here. Okay, so we only got 14 rep. Hey, but you know what? We do have two, two side missions that might give us stuff. So we have one career point. I'll go with damage control. All right, so they give us the black pool. All right, so we only get. We only get two rep for these guys. Uh, these guys cost 35. Wow. All right, so they, they gave us the black pool. You know, and technically I could, I could keep it. Or I could sell it. So these guys are going to cost me 700 in, in uh, cost for the trophies. So I'm trying to think, um, you know, should I sell this? You know, I can take the guys off it. 
take the officer. Hey, and that's that's seven thousand five hundred. All right. Because, you know, I really got two transports, and I don't really want a whole bunch of transports. And I definitely want these guys. I could then get rid of these. So, and I think the ships are... Let, let's just get them to... To optimal... All right, so we got four, right? So silver... Oh, this one only takes two. So let's go ahead and do Martha and Diana. And that's 100% right there. And this one will take three. So, all right, let me go back to this for a minute. And what I can do is... I can take uh, the guns off and take the supply off. Oh, you know what, too? Uh, let me assign it for a minute. Let me go ahead and max it out. Hey, and we, we have a perk for them. All right. All right. So intercept, we will put the Liverpool, the Lady, and Anne. All right, and then we will go ahead and go to the next one. All right, hey, yeah, look, we got 28,000 for doing that. So that is really good. We sunk the ship. 10 reputation. And again, we got only 6,800, but we got 7 reputation, and we sunk the two ships. Plus, we got 1,200 money. And the Parliament of Great Britain passes a repeal act for secure independency of Ireland Act, a major component of the reforms collectively known as the Constitution of 1782, which restored legislative independence to the Parliament of Ireland. And, and now we're going to get to objects in motion, which that's going to be four to eight ships. And it's 90,000. And if we go to War Hero, it'll be 100,000. So that is really going to be something. So if anything, we got to repair our ships. So that we will do. And we have 90,000 from, you know, th that really helps doing those side missions. Uh, yeah, and every time Anne goes into the battle, we have to, you know, so maybe I should put, I don't know, maybe I should put a hundred on. So that way we're not um, having to, every time I put this in a battle that we have to immediately put in a crew. And I can always take them off if I actually uh, need them. Why don't I just do the same here too? Now I know by doing this I won't be able to have these, you know, maxed out or anything. But anyways, okay, so here, look, we got 46, so we know we can add one of these ships. So why not do it?
Okay, so for the um For the Falcon, I can put myself on it. This one. Okay, so we got, I put 300 on here. And now this ship will be HMS Sally. And it's gonna be my capital ship. And if you look right here, it's got 32 pounder Caranoid founder Caranoid. Yeah, yeah. So So I think um I'm wondering if I could put on a 12 pounders or Yeah, that's about it. So maybe I need to I wonder if if I need to unlock some from some tech for better guns. Let's see. Okay, now this is if I wanted to make it, and but I, I don't have the tech yet to make an uh, artillery unit. So ah, now I I do like these guns. Yeah, I don't I don't know. I I would like to replace these. But first let's let's first get the crew on. Okay, I got my first Razzie class ship. Now, I usually like, you know, and I'm only doing first tier right now, but structure repair kit. And it actually looks like I could put more guys on. Oh, nope, it's overloaded. Also, I won't be able to even get to... Also, I won't even be able to get to that because it's overloaded. See, yeah, so I gotta, I gotta take those off. So just know that this class, this ship comes with this plus 24 pounder Armstrongs. But, um... But I'm, I'm not gonna uh, put Armstrongs on here. So my options are either... These nine pounders, which can shoot out 1250 yards, only seven damage. The Woolworth, 10 damage, 1000 yards. Yeah, 
Yeah, you know... Okay, so these have to shoot up close, right? So then maybe I will go with the nines because I can then shoot longer and then when they come in close, that's when this one will become effective. So now, maybe I could put... Either a boarding kit or a sail repair kit. Okay, so maybe I'll just go with that for now. So I said eight ships, right? So I have one, two, three, four, say five, six. If I bring these seven and eight, or do I make... Yeah, maybe I, what I could do is I could bring... Maybe if I bring one transport ship with a bunch of marines and if I sell Sally but then I make uh, Durrington a fire ship or do I make Sally a fire ship seeing that I already have a Sally and hmm Yeah, maybe I won't sell. I, I don't know. Like, let me think about this for a minute. All right, so it looks like all these ships are going to be optimal, right? So they're at least optimal at the moment. I only have this amount of money. So the question would be... Oh, and we lost an officer here. Oh, wrong place, sorry. See, what I was thinking, if I put the two-star units in, then they would, uh, you know, might earn their, their next perk. I could probably even make another another unit, but all right. So this video is long, I know, and um, it's getting even longer by me farting around doing this. But I need eight ships. I'll tell you what, I think what I'm going to do is I'll, I'm going to probably end the video and I will finish this up because there's not too many people that would watch this whole thing anyway. And I think I, I just want more time to figure out the eight ships that I want to put into it with, with the limited amount of money and, and what I can put on the ships. But you already seen me make, make this uh, ship right here and stuff. And like I said, I guess, you know, I could sell, sell this one. Uh, 
I'll just name it like that. I can go over here because I took everybody off it and you know what I mean? It just wouldn't make sense to do it any other way. And then I can make this one a fire ship um, if I wanted to do that. So we're just going to sell that, get 4,000 back. So now we have 41,000. And so, but like I said, the more I dwell on this and try to figure it out, it's going to make the video even ex even longer and longer and longer. So I can show you here that I would just save right here. Okay. So I'm going to save it right there and I'm going to call it a day. So no matter... You know, if if you like watching the harbor stuff, you know, t until I finally do it, I'm sorry, but I'll just give you a summary of the next next one when I do it, because I need a lot of thought in it. So, anyways, no matter where you are in the world, have a great day or a great afternoon or a great evening. Take care of yourself. Be kind to others. God bless to you and your own religion. This is your friend Jeff signing out. Adios, amigos, and adios, the lovely amigas.